I saw it. Oh, another one. Yeah, we're down this creek a little ways, and we just keep finding them. I guess that's why they call it. Well, that's why I guess why we call it Cottonmouth Creek. Oh. Oh yes, that's a pretty pattern. Damn. All right. I seen another cottonmouth down here. Another juvenile. Um, I don't see his head. So. Yeah, it's pretty. I don't know if when I like. I'm gonna try to tail him. And I don't know if when I tail him, if he's gonna dart off or what. Oh, if he's gonna come back and strike me. Yeah. But. See him. Here he is. Just sitting here. No, I see his head. Which way is it facing? Facing that way. Alright, come here. Take the camera. You think he sees you? No, he can't see me. He doesn't know I'm here. Take the camera back up a little ways. Oh, damn. Fuck. Just saw you. installed on the video, that pattern, yeah. that was a cool pattern. Damn it, dude. I should have had him, I just didn't want to take chances of him turning around. And biting you? Yeah. I don't want to get tagged out here. I'd rather the cottonmouth get away than me get bit. Yeah. But, you see, they're very common out here, and there's a lot you see, and there's a lot you don't catch. You know? Yeah. I wish we would have got that one. I know. That would have been at least a second one. We want to find a big one, but that one would have been nice. Yeah. I find a lot of juveniles. That's just kind of, I'm getting kind of iffy on why there isn't any, you know, adults and stuff. You want to jump over her? Go back. I'm trying to look back at him. Excuse me. I don't know where he could have went. He either went underwater or he went way back up in here. Because, I mean, he's got plenty of room to hide. Oh, really? Yeah, he's got no problem. I'm going to come. Have any problems at all hiding from the net. So. And there's a lot of frogs out here. And me and Josh were talking after the last video that the one that got away. Oh. Um. That, that last one might have, yeah, it got away, but. There were also frogs jumping in front of it, and I noticed when the frog jumped, he kind of, the snake kind of jerked. Okay. Yeah, so, he might have also been going after the frogs and trying to get away from us at the same time. As you can see, he could have went up in there. Oh. Yeah, you but don't always have to handle the snakes to, you know, enjoy, enjoy it. it. You just to see that they're out here and see that they're species is going good out here, you know, because that's, that's what you can have. It is aggravating sometimes when you, you know you stumble across a snake that you, you know you should have caught, and then when you look back, you're like, man, if I would have done this differently, maybe I could have got him, but you, you just can't go in. Even, even though he was a juvenile, though, he would have been a nice one to catch. Yep. I mean, he was like... A lot of them were kind of like a brownish color, with like, you just like yellow, like I told you that yeah, one. like a white. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, but um, find another one. I guess we'll keep going. All right. Um, now DJ was sitting down over there putting his shoes on, and I've been sitting here kind of taking a break, and uh. I look down, and there's some snake skin right here, and, uh, yes, it is a cottonmouth snake skin. It was more noticeable, like the pattern and everything, until I started messing with it, and it kind of ripped up because it was all wet, but, um, you can see, it's going to be hard for y'all to see, like, a pattern because it's all smushed up together, but this is the first time I've seen, like, cottonmouth skin, like a shedding, but here it is right here, and, um, Anyways, while I was sitting here, I was just staring across right here, looking straight across, and then
and there actually is another cotton mouse sitting right here on this uh, bank here. So um, I'm gonna go over and see if I can't get it up. Oh, and the weird thing we've noticed is a lot of them have been, or two of these have had these like bright yellow patterns. Yeah, they got this pigment in it that's making them like it's like a really yellow. They're like on the here. I'm gonna take the camera. Uh, that, well, that last one was like white. Yeah, the last one was like a white color with like the black bands. This one here is like it's yellowish, but it's still got it's still got its bands. Like not quite as yellow, but see him right there. He's just sitting. He still doesn't even know we've been here. We've been here for a couple minutes. Um, I'm gonna come back and hand DJ the camera. He might be sleeping or what, but honestly, I don't know. I have a feeling, though, you know, I'm probably going to end up staying again. As soon as I go to hook up, I'm probably going to start off. So. Someone just spit on me. It wasn't me. <laughs> Snap, he gaped. He's kind of calm. Except for him gaping. Hey, he's pretty calm right now. He's good. You gonna walk back over? Yeah. Or... Um, I don't know. Uh. Oh, look at that pattern. It's like the, um, how many have we seen a day? Five, six? Two, one. Oh. See, we... Oh, I can... Oh, I'm across. A lot of them have been running from us, but this one's kind of... Yeah, he just kind of... I think he, honestly, I think he may have been asleep or something, just chilling. And I kind of gave him a rude awakening. Look at that pattern, the, that dark tail. He's nice and fat. Yeah, they got the coloration kind of like a timber. They don't have the bands going across the back or anything. But they got the bands going up the side, and then they get, they get darker as you go down the tail. Look at that. He's a pretty one, too. Yeah, he's not being aggressive at all. Except for that one gate. Yep, that's about all he's doing. We're just a little cop now. Um, I'm going to let DJ get hands on with him. So I'm going to set him down right here. And uh, I'm just going to hold his tail so he can't go nowhere. DJ's got him in the camera. Come up towards my hand. <laughs> DJ with the cotton mouth. He's a he's all right size one too. Yep. Not too little. Um, probably the biggest. It's probably the biggest one we caught. Like it's only the second one we caught today. Well, I mean, like, well, no, that first one I caught at the beginning of the year was the biggest one I caught. But like I said earlier, I've only found a lot of juveniles. Um. He's not even worried about me. Yeah, he's worried about what's in front of him. But he's got a really yellow pattern. Really yeah. cool, too. Yeah. Oh. All right, well, let's go ahead and clip the video here. Here. Yeah, Can TJ. Clip it yet? No, go ahead. Let him go. Here, let me come over here. Set him on that log. All right. Set him here on his log, and he'll go on his way. All right, here. I want him to go after you. Oh, you're good. There he goes. See? Which, he might be kind of bright because that was, that might have been his shed over there. Yeah. Very so, good. He's, he's not even worried about us. He's All right. Laying there. Well, we're going to let him go on his way and we're going to move on out, out of here. So, talk to you guys later.